Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Larry Fobbs on the job. Today we're talking about if you post on social media, what kind of response do you get? Likes, dislikes, I, good idea, something like that. So, you know, those are like very short comments. So what we want to talk about today is my AI response. What can you do to really get engagement with the likes and response of your posting? So what I want you to do, watch the follow video, Cheryl, she's going to describe what this like is with my AI response. We introduced a feature that got me like crazy wild, right? I was freaking out because we have the ability to post on social media, which is fantastic. And then we're creating comments on other people's posts, right? And then what we introduced was also the ability to send a message to people or reach out to people who liked our posts. Awesome, okay? So what I wanna do and what I wanna stick to and focus on is this reaching out to people who like our post feature for uh, my little section here. And then I have a few more surprises for you all uh, as well. So. I'm just kind of pulling up uh, my account really quick so that you all can kind of see exactly how I do it. Inside of my now site account, everybody see it? Give me the thumbs up, the yeah, all right, awesome, great. So this is inside of my account. And inside of my account, right, we have create a social post and we have write a message or a reply. Remember that home screen is gonna change on Thursday. So you gotta be there. And one of the tabs here is reach out after someone likes my social post, right? We talked about commenting on a social post. We spent some time there last week, right? The law of reciprocation. Now we're talking about reaching out after someone likes my social post, okay? So what I do, and I have become blazing fast at it. So I say, if you have just a few minutes, you can turn what, you know, I say you can turn your likes into swipes or start to create the relationship that matters with people. So why is it that you start to post on social media? You're expanding and building your network, right? You're trying to get more exposure. You're trying to get more people to see you. Why do you comment on social posts, right? The law of reciprocation to continue to get out, to continue to build your network, to continue to create engaging conversations. And then why do you reach out after someone likes your post? To continue to build and engage in that relationship so that if it fits, you can introduce your business or your product to someone, right? Your network is your net worth. So here, this is my... Uh, Facebook page, obviously, or, you know, whatever. And then here I'm going to whoosh down because I get tagged and stuff, right? So this is my latest post. And I did not write this post. I would love to say that I wrote this post. But the truth is my AI wrote this post. My AI has written this post too. And basically all of the posts that you see here. Okay. So if I can't kind of go back up to this post here, I just copy it, the text. I come back into now site and I'm just gonna paste it here, okay? And then I can add any additional instructions in this section. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. If you've checked out Facebook, if you checked out the official corporate group, you can see a ton of conversations that I've screenshot with people from doing this one exercise, right? I put it all in there for you guys. So here, right, I open this section and I can see who hearted, who liked, who hit the care button and who hit the, oh, wow, button. Truth be told, right? I kind of just scroll on down until I find somebody that I haven't talked to right? Specifically or whatever. So I kind of go through and I'll be like, dude, I talk to DePaul like every day. Sherry, Knock, Pendleton, Mark. I like, right? I'm kind of going down and I'm trying to find the people that I don't necessarily have an, a relationship where I haven't talked to 
uh, recently about my business. Now, do I know this person? I don't think so. And I don't think I've reached out. So this is what I do. I copy the name. Okay. I just copy it. And then I go to message here and you can see I haven't messaged this person. Okay. So where I have Cheryl Lafer liked my post, I just kind of put this person's name here. Well, it's not let me put that. I'm just going to put T H I. Okay, like this, like my post, I kind of already have it going and I click to generate. I don't overthink it. It's on Facebook. I'm good to go. Okay. Notice you like my post about, you know, blah, blah, blah. It asks the question so I can uh, send a great message. Do I always take the time to read every single thing? Probably not. Uh, cool. Great. Next, I go right back to my post. Ah, I go right back to my post here. And then I choose the next person. Okay. So I'm going to scroll on down. Bah, bah, bah. I'm going to kind of scroll quite a bit. I don't think I know Tim Rodriguez. Uh, do I know Danette? Mm. I'm usually much better, like, I've already sent so many of these people a message, right? Um, and so many uh, different examples, but I'll share with you. I don't think I've talked to Darlinda. So I go here, right? And then I copy and then I message. So no, I haven't. So here with Darlinda, what I do is here, right? Or Linda liked my post. Okay, and then I click to generate. And I just keep going through the list. I don't go through the list judging anyone. I don't go through the list going, this person might not like me, this person this, this person that. I don't overthink anything. I don't go, oh my gosh, this isn't the greatest message. I should say this. I should say that. I should overthink it. You know what I do? I, I go, great. And then I move on to the next person as fast as I can. I'll even take the time to do some comments here. So, right. If there's somebody that commented that I don't necessarily talk to pretty like very much, or I want to talk to and whatever, uh, I don't think I know Linda, so I'll take this and I'll copy it too. I take the entire thing just like this, literally, right? And then I go to Linda, I click on message. Oh, okay. I don't know. So I paste here, right? Last is on my to-do list. I just paste it. I wait for it to come up with an amazing uh, con or um, an amazing reach out. Here you go. Copy to clipboard. Here. This is all the way from like royalty. So, hey, Linda. Done. How many of you think that you can do that? We can all do that, right? Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a, a not so secret secret, but when I first got started in the network marketing industry, right? I was in the field, okay, and I didn't, you know, I, I was an electrician. I didn't have very much like, oh, she knows exactly how to sell it, exactly what to say, exactly what to do. I had maybe 200 friends on Facebook. Total. But I also follow these three steps that you're going to learn about in the star system. And that's the things that I would do is post. And the thing that I would do next is always use the law of reciprocation, right? I would always go around and I'd be like, I'm so great at commenting on other people's posts. I would pride myself when I am so like, I will go and comment on everybody's post. And then what I'll do is whenever somebody likes my post, I would always get them in a DM and say, hey, thank you so much for liking my post. 
blah, blah, blah. It would take me a lot longer and I would have to be a lot more creative, right? And I would have to think of something to say a lot, but that's really the formula. And what was funny is, and I think Laura Smith's here, so she, she'll, you know, attest to what I'm about to say, but when we first got started, I was constantly introducing people into my network marketing opportunity. Mindy, Mindy Rosen, I think is here too, and she'll tell you, right? I was constantly being like, welcome this person, welcome this person, welcome this person, welcome this person, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. And people would be like, she's definitely not nearly as popular as Mr. X over here. She is definitely not nearly as popular as this person or this person or this person, or she does not nearly get as much engagement as so-and-so. And it's true. The only thing that I did, I, I was consistent with it, but I understood that the influencer probably wasn't taking every like and turning it into a conversation either. And I knew that if I took my likes and turned it into a conversation, if I was willing to build relationships with the people and find out more about them and be a good listener, right? Not all that much uh, different <laughs> than two-step posts where comments are not really strong, okay? Um, great, right? So, but I, I made it a point to do the things that worked. And that was, could I take that like and then start to talk to that person and create a great relationship with that person. I used to, and I say used to because now we have my AI. So it's really the, I, like, there are so many people here that I've taken training in the past. I'm looking at Brett too. I would say when, when we went, if I was switching a company, if I was doing something, right? I would change my profile picture. I told everybody that. People would be like, why would you do that? I say, because I get the most likes on that post and every like, I figure out who I haven't talked to, who I haven't introduced my new business to, who I have not spoken to about this business at all because it's, the, it's a post that people feel really comfortable hitting the like button on. And I would take that like and every single like, I would try to create some, like I would try to create a conversation in my mind to each one of those people. Hey, Patrice, thank you so much for liking my post. But it's much harder to say, hey, thank you so much for liking my profile picture. Like, where do you go from there? But when my AI gives you the post, and you kind of have the Alaska post or something that's personal or something that you can reference that you can actually create a real conversation from, it becomes so much easier, right? You're like, oh, I could talk to you about cars all day long. That, that's for real, right? I can talk to you about cars all day long. I can talk to you about snowboarding all day long. Do you want to talk about ice hockey? Let's go. I can talk to you about that all day long. I can become friends. I like, we definitely share a similar interest. Let's go. Do you like to travel? I, I can talk to you about that. Right. And I can genuinely be interested in a friendship with you, whether you purchase my product or not. Whether you are looking for a side hustle or not, maybe you could refer me to somebody. So I'm not like wiping you off the list, but I definitely am building a, a like I'm definitely building a network. But yeah, I did that and got like 92 comments. It was overwhelming trying to comment back to everybody. Like we should be the busiest people who are business owners or network marketers like ever. All you should be like twitching, like carpal tunnel over here. You're like, like somebody, uh, I, Right. I used to I used to be an electrician, obviously, right? So after a day's work, I'd be like, oh man, my knees hurt or this hurts or blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what? Like your fingers should be like, I have clicked my legs clicking. I have done all the clicking today. Right? Like I've started all the conversations today. And you should just be going, man, I got a conversation with Patrice going and this person going and this person going and this person going. 
right? And we're gonna talk about that next step uh, after the conversation starts coming up soon, which you know I like to give away all the info. I'm trying not to, all right? So we have those first three steps, creating the relationship. We'll get into talking and shifting into business, but stop, you know, I'll start like spilling all the beans out here. Okay. So something I wanted to share with you in, if you're, if you've posted and you have 10 likes and you have not thanked every single person for liking your post, why not? Why? If you have post after post after post, if you, right, if you haven't commented, if you've done these three steps, those are income producing activities. Those are real conversations to actually expanding your network. And this is how you can build a business on social media. We should all be the busiest people ever, right? Because we know exactly what to do and exactly what works. So look. And so how about that? So here it is, you're, you're posting. And also you apply to other people's posts because that's how you increase your engagement. That's how you grow your network. And so the idea is, okay, well, can you really do a very good job about it? Maybe you can come up with some kind of, you know, tricky or witty technique as to how to respond. But with my AI response and like, it's a great tool to respond to posts, either posts that you put up or other people put up. And then when you use the tool, they're going to be amazed. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Larry, for saying that about what I just posted. And then you can carry on the situation that the, the, the conversation that way, because what you're doing is you're building your network, you're creating engagement. That's what you want, because people they trust and like people you know that they know, and that's what you're doing. You're building your network that way, with very pertinent response that let them know, and you get an increase that engagement, and that's the idea behind my AI likes. And things like okay we also have video caption we have other tools as well so what i recommend if you have any issues have an engagement on the internet with your social posting i encourage you to come on board click the button join us and we'll help you get up and running and expanding your network okay to my next video have a blessed day